We are just moments away from the much-anticipated 200-meter hippo swim. Hi, everyone. I'm Greg Gaston. Welcome back to the Memphis Olympics. Uzazi and Splish will go head-to-head. And for more perspective on the race, let's send it down to Jessica Benson. Yeah, thanks, Greg. Splish and Uzazi have been training for this moment their entire lives. If you don't see them come up out of the water, don't worry. Hippos can hold their breaths for up to five minutes while they're swimming up to a half hour when they're sleeping. They are not sleeping today. They are ready to compete. Uzazi is the clear favorite today. I am told he works out, but don't count out Splish. She is a crafty vet. We will see them here in the pool. Greg, I'll send it back up to you. Thanks, Jessica. Great insight into these competitors from Africa. Now let's check out the action, and first up is the male hippo, Uzazi. By the way, if you're scoring at home, this competition is strictly based on time. And not a great start for Uzazi, who gets out of the blocks very slowly. The big guy, however, is nimble, and he's going to show off his ability to handle the obstacles. Gracefully sliding by the poles here, he actually pokes his head out of the water and then drops his head back into the water. However, that's going to slow him down a bit. Great work from our crew all week long at the Memphis Zoo Olympics, including this terrific overhead shot from our crack staff. You can't even detect any movement from the agua. Uzazi weighs in at 4,000 pounds, and he's smooth, but not the speed he was hoping for. Meanwhile, it's Splish's turn, traversing the course into the opposite direction. Splish, the female, is a bit lighter, checking in at a svelte, 3,850 pounds. Splish taking the turn a little bit wide here and will need to pick up the pace. Oh, by the way, these amazing animals on average eat 15 pounds of grain, 20 pounds of alfalfa cubes, 5 pounds of hay, and 15 pounds of produce each day. Hard to believe they can move, let alone swim after that buffet. Now, Splish is really going to put it into another gear here. She starts to fly through the water. Look at the wake that she's leaving behind her. That's an indication that she is moving at a rapid speed. And this one may end up being a shocker here at the Memphis Zoo. Again, Uzazi was the favorite to win gold, but it appears that it's going to be Splish as she closes in on the finish line. And we're going to have an upset at the Memphis Zoo. How about that? It is Splish going to take home the gold and take home the gold quite easily. Look at the time, 1:15:21, settling for the silver, Uzazi at 2:31:51. I'm Greg Gaston saying so long from the Memphis Olympics. <laughs>